I click on almost every video I watch because of the thumbnail. So why aren't you making them? Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. So today I've decided to make a really short video on YouTube thumbnails and I don't know why people aren't making them. I follow a lot of small time YouTubers and none of them are making thumbnails. Or like 1% of them upload a custom thumbnail. And that is super discouraging because honestly, I click on most of the videos that I watch on YouTube because of the thumbnail. It properly clickbaits me in and then I go watch it. So you guys really need to be taking advantage of the custom thumbnail option. If you guys don't know how to upload your own custom thumbnails, I will go ahead and show you in the YouTube settings how you can do that. And then we're also gonna jump into Photoshop and I'm gonna show you guys how you can make a simple thumbnail. If you guys do not have Photoshop, go down in the link in the description. You can buy it from Adobe there. It is rather expensive. So I would even suggest pirating the software. I know you guys are tech savvy and I usually don't endorse uh, pirating or like stealing a copy of a certain software, but I think Photoshop is that important that if you guys can't afford it, you really need it and you really need to learn how to use it and make your thumbnails in there. So go get yourself a copy of Photoshop and come back to this video and we are gonna make some thumbnails. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is how you even go about uploading a custom thumbnail to YouTube. So here we are in my channel. You wanna go to your channel and once you're here, you're gonna want to go over here and hit settings that is gonna take you to your channel settings here, and then you're gonna to wanna to hit view additional features. So that's gonna take you to this page, guys, where you got a lot of cool features that you can choose to enable, such as uploading, obviously that is enabled, um, up enabling longer videos, more than 15 minutes, you can enable that, and then obviously you want custom thumbnails enabled. I think you have to do one task before you can enable custom thumbnails, and I believe that is just verifying your email that you use to set up your YouTube account. So that's super simple, and then you'll be able to click enable custom thumbnails and once you have done that you are good to go so after you've enabled your custom thumbnails when you go to upload a video like this if you scroll down next to video thumbnails you're gonna see custom thumbnail you can click on that and then you can upload your thumbnail so now that we can actually upload a thumbnail to YouTube it is time to jump into Photoshop and learn how to create a basic thumbnail so when you open up Photoshop you're gonna be greeted with a screen similar to this possibly a tutorial which you can ignore because I am your tutorial Just just kidding, you should probably watch and listen to that tutorial and learn cool things about Photoshop and then come back to me or vice versa, watch me and then go back to the tutorial. Tutorial doesn't matter, but you'll be greeted with a screen like this where we can hit create new document. And once you're in here, your document should be 1920, 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. 1920 by 1080, that is full HD, that is the video frame size. So if you don't see a custom option down here or like a presetted option, which you should, you can go up here and change them here. Make sure this is set to pixels because you don't want an almost 2000 inch thumbnail. That is stupid. Set this to pixel pixels, 1920 by 1080, and then just hit create, and you're gonna get a beautiful blank canvas for making thumbnails. So the first step when creating a good thumbnail is getting a nice background. Now, depending on the game you're playing, this is going to vary of what you want your background to be, or depending on what your video is about, it's gonna vary about what you want your background to be. But let's just say, for instance, we're doing a Fortnite thumbnail. So First thing to remember is copy and paste is your friend and Google Images is your friend. So if we pop up Google Images here and let's say we are creating a Fortnite uh, win video and we landed in Risky Reels. So Risky Reels, I've already searched it once. We can open that up and we get all kinds of photos of Risky Reels. Let's use this one from early season four. All you gotta do is right click, hit copy image. We can head back into Photoshop. We can go up to edit and paste. Now we've got Risky Reels into our document and we probably should have chose a bigger photo. It's pretty small, but for the sake of saving time in this video, we're gonna roll with it. What you can do is then make sure that your layer is selected that you just paste, go up to edit, free transform, and you can hold down shift and scale and keep the aspect ratio and make this the size of your thumbnail. Bang, look at that, we got Risky Reels in the background now. But this is a little bit distracting when you're looking at a thumbnail, it's a little busy. So what I like to do is I like to grab the rectangle tool, select my channel color such as blue, draw a big rectangle over the entire thing, just like that, and then go over here and set the opacity down 
kind of like that, maybe a little bit more, kind of like that, just right there. So now that's a little bit less distracting, we can put text over it and it's not gonna look super busy, or you can even leave it at 100% and play with blending modes, where it says normal right here, we can set it to maybe overlay and get a cool effect like that. I prefer leaving it at, at normal and then just dropping the opacity like that. Makes it look nice. You got a little bit of uh, Fortnite detail in the background and then we can add text over the top without it becoming too busy. There's a fine line between good design and a really busy thumbnail that's just way too much. So there is step one, get your background in place. Next up guys, we wanna add some text to this. So we wanna go over to our toolbar and hit the text thing and let's type out Fortnite, just like that. We want people to know this is a Fortnite video and let's call it Dope Win. So we're gonna hit enter and do Dope Win under that and now it's time to make this text not look horrible. If you find yourself making a thumbnail and you've typed out the text and then you do nothing to it, stop, you're doing it wrong. You should always format your text to make it look better. So we wanna pick colors that make it stand out over our background. We do not want to do the same shades of blues and blue and purple and close colors when we're dealing with background and text. We want them to be opposites. So dark blue is what we use for our background. It's a fairly dark background. So I'm gonna select just Fortnite, come up here and change it to white. That looks pretty good right there. We can see it nice and clear. And then the dope win, we want that to stand out different from the Fortnite. It's kind of like a sub headline under Fortnite. So we're gonna make that a nice bright yellow, which is kind of the opposite of blue. There we go. We've already started to format our text. Now we can select dope win again, come over here and hit our text tools. It's this little backwards P thing. If you don't have that, you can go up to your window and turn it on in here. You just wanna hit paragraph or um, uh, character is actually what we're gonna be using, but my character is in the paragraph tab right here. So then we can adjust our font size, make dope win a little bit smaller, then maybe raise it up a bit like that. And there we go. We have formatted our text and look how much better that is looking guys. So now we are going to Make sure we select our text layer here, go to edit, free transform like we did with the background and scale and position it in place where we want. So let's just do that and maybe make it a little bigger. There we go. Look at that guys. That is looking a lot better already. Just format your text, do not leave it. Just format it, choose some colors, make it look nice. Now I wanna make our text stand out even a little bit more. So we're gonna get into our layer styles. So we wanna come over to our layers here and double click on it, not on the text, not on this image, kind of in the blank space over here, just double click and that's gonna open up the layer style uh, tab where we can then go and add like a drop shadow. So you can see that added this cool drop shadow effect. You can go into those settings and mess around with the distance of the drop shadow or the spread and the size of it and all kinds of stuff like that. So we're just gonna leave it like that. You can even change the color of the drop shadow, but that's just a little bit too crazy. We're gonna go for a nice sleek look just like that. And then we can also add a stroke to it if we want. A stroke is an outline. It's a fancy word for outline in Photoshop. So let's turn on stroke and see what that looks like. Red is just really bad. So maybe do a blue, no. Maybe do a yellow, no. I don't think a stroke's gonna look good for this text at all. But if you think it looks good, you can do it. I'm gonna take it off and then just hit okay. There we go, we got Fortnite, dope win. All right guys, so now we've got a cool background and we've got some cool text. So it's time to start adding some details to the thumbnail. And if we're making a Fortnite thumbnail, you know you gotta have a cool skin in there. So we're gonna go back to Google Images and we're gonna type in Fortnite skins and we can add PNG in there if we wanna try to find one with a transparent background or an alpha background already. But I'm gonna show you guys how to make one of those on your own. So let's say we're gonna use a fate skin, just like this here. This looks pretty good. You're gonna go ahead and copy the image, go back into Photoshop, edit, paste, just like we did with the background. And now we've got fate in here, but she's got an ugly white background. We don't want that. So we're gonna go over to our toolbar and click the eraser tool. It'll probably look like this for you guys. And you're gonna click and hold, and it's gonna open up a drop down, and you can select magic eraser tool. So click that. And all you have to do is come over here to fate and click in the background, the white, and boom, 
the white background is gone. Now this sometimes will uh, mess up a little bit, especially if you're using a skin that has some white in it and might think that the white in the skin is part of the background. So really just mess around with it and see what skins you can get to work. But there we go, we've got our fate skin. We can position her over here by the text. Maybe go to edit, free transform again, make her a bit bigger like that. We can also put her like this hit OK on our free transform, and then in our layers here, drop her below the text so that her arm goes behind the text. That looks pretty cool, and I like that. And there we go, guys. We've got the fate skin in there. We've got the text in there. we got the background in there, and this is already a sweet-looking thumbnail. But we can add a couple more things just to make it cooler, and you really just got to go to Google Images and type in whatever you want. So let's say we want to add in Victory Royale. So let's grab Victory Royale PNG, but you might notice that it's got white in it and it's got this white flare over here. So the removal of the background might be a bit difficult. So I'm gonna show you guys a bit of a trick. If you go up to Google Images and instead of typing PNG, type in green screen, you'll have people that have already cut out the Victory Royale screen for you and put it on green, kind of like this. So then we can just copy that. So copy image, go back into Photoshop, edit, paste, then grab our magic eraser tool, select the green, and look at that, guys. We've got the Victory Royale logo in our Photoshop document, and boom, we can position it however we want. We can rotate it. We can put it right there. Hit OK. Maybe double-click over here, hop into the layer styles, add a drop shadow to our Victory Royale screen. Maybe make that drop shadow yellow. It really does not matter, guys. I've shown you the basics of it. Take what I've done and run with it. Um, the one thing I do to all my thumbnails towards the end is I like to add a um, outline to all of it. So what I'm gonna do is go to the rectangle tool here and I'm gonna click instead of dragging and I'm gonna type in 1920 by 1080. That is the size of our comp gonna create a rectangle for us the size of the comp we can drag it into place make sure it's lined up with all the sides like that we can go into our rectangle settings here and click this white box with a line through it and that'll make no fill and then we want to double click on the layer styles down here add a stroke click on the stroke settings and instead of outside on the position, change it to inside. And look at that, we've got a thumbnail border going around. So let's make it a nice yellow color like that. Bump the size up. And I like to add a border just like that. So there we go, guys. That's a pretty good looking thumbnail. Much better than if YouTube just custom selects a thumbnail from randomly in the video. Um, one thing I want you guys to watch out for when you're making these um, outlines that I just showed you is that if you do a red outline, the bar at the bottom right here is going to look very similar to the bar that shows up when you've already watched a video. So be careful with your red borders. A lot of the times it can really screw up that um, watch bar at the bottom. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to YouTube, go to a video you've watched, and you'll see there's a red bar at the bottom. So there's a good chance people might be scrolling through your channel and think they've watched a video. I'm guilty of this. I like to use red borders like that all the time, and I really should stop. Um, really should make it a different color, maybe like a nice orange instead. But there we go, guys. That is the basics of making a thumbnail. I really hope you guys take this into consideration and start treating thumbnails a bit more seriously, like the video creation process, because it really is just important as the video. Clickbaiting people in, and I'm using clickbait as a good term in this situation, not the stupid clickbait, but you want to bait people's clicks. And the way you do that is just by enticing them right off the bat. you got to grab them instantly. And the way you do that's with the thumbnail. A title is not enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you download Photoshop or buy Photoshop or do whatever you want. Just get Photoshop or some sort of image processing um, program and start taking your thumbnails a bit more seriously, guys. And uh, I will see you next time in another tutorial or gaming video. Peace out.